take care that no one deceives you, because many will come using my name and saying, I am the Christ, and they will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Do not be alarmed, for this is something that must happen, but the end will not be yet. For nation will fight against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes here and there. All this is only the beginning of the birth pangs. Then they will hand you over to be tortured and put to death, and you will be hated by all the nations on account of my name. And then many will fall away, men will betray one another and hate one another. Many false prophets will arise and they will deceive many. And with the increase of lawlessness, love in most men will grow cold. But the man who stands firm to the end will be saved. This good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed to the whole world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end will come. So when you see the disastrous abomination of which the prophet Daniel spoke set up in the holy place, let the reader understand. Then those in Judea must escape to the mountains. If a man is on his housetop, he must not come down to collect his belongings. If a man is in the fields, he must not turn back to fetch his cloak. Alas for those with child or with babies at the breast, when those days come. Pray that you will not have to escape in winter or on a Sabbath. For then there will be great distress such as, until now, since the world began, there never has been, and never will be again. And if that time had not been shortened, no one would have survived. But shortened that time shall be for the sake of those who were chosen. If anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or he is there, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will arise and produce great signs and portents, enough to deceive even the chosen if that were possible. There I have forewarned you. If then they say to you, Look, he is in the desert, do not go there. Look, he is in some hiding place, do not believe it. Because the coming of the Son of Man will be like lightning striking in the east and flashing far into the west. Wherever the corpse is, there the vultures gather. Immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will lose its brightness. And the stars will fall from the sky and the powers of heaven will be shaken. And then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven. Then too all the peoples of the earth will beat their breasts, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven, with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet to gather his chosen from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Take the fig tree as a parable. As soon as its twigs grow supple and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. So with you when you see all these things know that he is near at the very gates. I tell you solemnly, before this generation has passed away, all these things will have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. But as for that day and hour, nobody knows it. Neither the angels of heaven, nor the Son, no one but the Father. As it was in Noah's day, so it will be when the Son of Man comes. For in those days before the flood, people were eating, drinking, and taking wives taking husbands right up to the day Noah went into the ark, and they suspected nothing till the flood came and swept them all away. It will be like this when the Son of Man comes. Two of the men in the fields, one is taken, one left. Of two women at the millstone grinding, one is taken, one left. So stay awake, because you do not know the day when your master is coming. You may be quite sure of this, that if the householder had known at what time of the night the burglar would come, he would have stayed awake and would have not allowed anyone to break through the wall of his house. Therefore you too must stand ready, because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. What sort of servant, then, is faithful and wise enough for the master to place him over his household to give them their food at the proper time? Happy is that servant if his master's arrival finds him at this employment. I tell you solemnly, he will place him over everything he owns. But as for the dishonest servant who says to himself, My master is taking a long time, and sets about beating his fellow servants and eating and drinking with drunkards, his master will come on a day he does not expect, and at an hour he does not know. The master will cut him off and send him to the same fate as the hypocrites, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. <laughs>